Morning peeps and welcome to the next episode of Cheshire Carpers. Just gonna do a quick intro, try not waffle on as some people have said in my past pre videos, but I'm trying to be a bit quiet. I'm um, I am on my own today and we are at uh, Maymoor Fisheries, which is in I believe it's like pronounced by family. I might have said that wrong, it's near Alsager in Crew. A big shout out to Specialist Blanca, Mark. It was actually one of his videos, um, or maybe quite a few of his videos that I've seen in Fish this Lake and realised it's only not far from where I live, so I thought I'd give it a try myself. I thought I'd come down, you know, happy Easter everybody. Easter weekend, good Friday today. Come down about nine o'clock, it's probably about 11 now, quarter past 11. It took me forever to set up, but I'm just trying to take my time, be quiet, because I believe this lake is pretty hard. So even if we just catch hopefully one fish, we'll be good enough. But yeah, I'll try and do some B-roll footage of the lake, try and not um, interfere or interrupt any of the other anglers. So I'm just being a bit cautious and quiet. But that's about it. Um, I'll talk more about what I'm fishing on and show you the lake, so on and so forth. But yeah, I've not been out since our last video which was the one at um, Arrow Meadow Fisheries. We will be returning there. Um, we have booked it in June, start of June, so that'll be uh, the revenge for five days. But I'm here doing 24 hours on Maymore Fisheries on peg four. And uh, yeah, let's hope, eh? So we'll catch you soon. See you soon. All right, people, it's now about half past 12. So just a little quick update. I've not had anything yet. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually getting over, just excuse the sniffs and the coughing if there's any on this video. I'm a heavy breathing, as people have said in the past. I've been unwell for the past three weeks. Just wanted to get out and have a bit of a break, so like I said before, it'd be nice to obviously catch a fish, but just enjoying the um, Good Friday with the sun out. It's very nice. Yeah, the amount of clothes I wore as well earlier, but thinking it was going to, just in case it was going to rain, and I've been sweating me tits off. But again, I don't know if I've missed anything previously, but we are on Maymore more fisheries on peg four. I'm here for 24 hours, so that hopefully this will just be a quick vlog. And uh, yeah, hope hope we have a fish. I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed. I can't really remember what the the website said. I know the rules is barbless, and they encourage apparently they encourage uh, micro barbed, uh, no nuts, um, a little bit of ground bait. I think it says. So all I've done at the moment is just put pellet, uh, sweet corn, and some manila. Uh, liquid, threw a bit of that in, and then on my rods I've got one on a, an ID3 pop-up, one on the trap pop-up, and one on a, a Manila white one pop-up. So we'll see which one, um, see see which ones work, if they do. So yeah, just outside chilling, and I'll keep you updated. And I'll stop waffling on and show you some of the uh, lake. So we'll catch you soon, hopefully with a fish. See you soon. So, uh, quick update. Just lost one. I'm not that happy. <laughs> don't know what I was doing. I think I was in the middle of doing a video or B roll or something like that. My left rod just screamed off. I got it, playing it, and then it went over my other lines. And I'm all back leaded, but got tangled up, tried to move my other rods, and at the same time, it hook pulled. And, uh, you know, that's what. That's what fishing's about, so just thought I'd do this quick update just to let you guys know. Hopefully I've reset all my rods, put them back in the spots, fresh bait on, goes off again. Hopefully I've not spooked them. Might have spooked the air and the fish will be moving down now, so come on fish. Let's have it. 
so yeah, quick update guys. Um, I can't remember if I let you guys know that I lost a fish previously. Ended up crossing over my lines and getting tangled. But um, I thought I might have spooked him, thought that might have been it. But luckily enough, I just caught one. So I will probably put the footage on top of this. But yeah, it weighed, it came into around about £17.5. And I weighed the sling, it was about pound three. So it was roughly around about £16. But my first fish of the year. It seems that doesn't seem that great, but I've only this is my second time out this year, so first fish, and it's common, <laughs> very nice little common carp. So I'm just happy I'm off the mark and uh, bring on more. So yeah, that was on the ID3. So it's the first fish I've ever caught on the incredible bait ID3. Um, so I've smashed one back out, and let's hope for the best. And it was exactly the same spot and same rod. As my previous run that I had, that I lost. Been here for six, seven hours. Still got till morning, so there'll, you know, more to come hopefully. Looks like there's some more people arriving. Quite packed out today. Actually, to be honest, on my right side is quite empty, but the other side and to the left of me, there's quite a few people on. So I've heard a few beeps. So I'm not too sure if anybody else is caught. No, I don't think anybody's caught on this side except for myself. So I must be doing something right. I'll stop waffling on again and uh, hopefully you'll see me with another fish or chatting away <laughs> so yeah chuffed chuffed as all right cheers i'll see you soon hello peeps um it's getting that time now it's like tea time ish i think it's about six what time is it yep nearly six o'clock so i've been here for nine hours only had the one fish so far and lost one just had a few beeps again you know I'm going to put some fresh bait on soon and then leave it in for the night. Throw some more bait out. Here he comes with his sniffs. Hopefully I'm not coming down with something again. But yeah, it's a very nice place. I thought I'll just mention that the uh, the lady that runs it, Phyllis, met her today. A very nice lady. You know, proper laid back. But she must do a good job because this place is uh, it's very nice. It's well kept. I reckon it's between, I'd say, one to two acres. Um, um, it's about five, I think the website says five to eight foot, and it's quite, Myrmore's quite known for their big grass carp that are, are rarely caught. I wouldn't mind a grass carp to be honest, but yeah, it's um, a lovely place. As I said, I'm, I will be leaving about nine, ten o'clock in the morning, so I'll try and do a video in the morning anyway, before I leave. You probably won't hear from me now, because it's going to get dark soon, unless I catch another fish, so enjoy and uh, if I don't see you through the night I'll see you in the morning so yeah in a bit people Morning peeps, it's about six o'clock, half six, and no joy through the night. I don't even think I had a bleep unless I was just too fast asleep. Uh, I've checked my bobbins and stuff just in case I've missed anything, but it doesn't look like anything's been touched. A nice little fog, 
mist on the lake. I actually fell asleep with the door open last night, so it was pretty cold. You know, it's all good. I'm gonna start slowly packing down. Got to play a few more hours to go, a couple more, so we'll leave at nine o'clock. We'll see if we get anything in the meantime, but if we don't, then this will probably be the end of the vlog. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed it. Been on the bank, caught one. It's all that matters. In the day, it's just it's just nice just being out. The bloody trains going past. Um, if this is the last part of the video, then you know, thank you very much for coming along and checking it out. Um, if anybody's interested in fishing this lake, then I will put the link in the description for me and more fisheries. I'm not too sure how much it is for a day, but it was it cost me thirty pound for twenty four hours. Like I said, the lady who runs it, Phyllis, she's very nice. Um, you just call up and book or reserve, should say, reserve your peg. And she pops down and puts a little sign on the peg for you. The rules ain't too bad at all. I think I think it's just nuts. And then, um, you know, slight, you don't, don't, just don't be nailing loads of baiting. Uh, barbless hooks, I think it does say encouraged, micro barbed. It's very down to earth. The lake's kept very clean. There's portaloos around the lakes, uh, bring your own bog roll, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, I've enjoyed it, so like I said, we'll see if we can um, catch another before I go, but if not, this will be the end of the video, so yeah, we will see you on the next one, like I said, if, you, if you've seen the previous video, the estate lake at Arrow Meadow Fisheries at Solihull, um, half half the time we were there the lake was frozen over so we have booked it out again for five days at the start of june and we are going to go back with redemption yeah hopefully have a great time so keep an eye out for that as well so if you've not yet subscribed and would like to then please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications and i'll try and um, i'll try and get out before then and get some more videos on the um, on the channel so We'll be doing some product reviews and all that stuff as well. So. But I appreciate it. Thank you very much. For incredible tackle and incredible bait for catching me that fish today, yesterday. A few shout outs just before I go. Uh, Mark, Specialist Blanca. Appreciate the knowledge and um, the messages in that yesterday for helping me. Um, as he's fished the day before, uh, the lads. From Cheshire Carpers, obviously, and if I've missed you, if I've missed anyone, then I apologise. <laughs> but um, oh, Ant Mortar as well, and shout out as he's just joined the team. But yeah, that is it. So we'll catch you on the next one, or if we get a fish. <laughs> so see you later, peeps.